yeah, like I'm not even done like setting up. Like I want to film around with like the lights on before I turn the lights off and start investigating. Um, those were loud. Those were loud noises. No Canadian goes on a road trip without Tim Hortons. Okay, well, it's a little after 7.30 um, and I have a two hour drive ahead of me, so let's get to it. The Empress Theatre was built in 1912 as a way to entertain the Northwest Mounted Police of Fort McLeod, Alberta. It wore many hats in its lifetime, from hosting vaudeville acts, community lectures, live music, and was renovated in the 1940s to be a movie theatre. It now hosts plays, concerts, and movies. You may also recognize it from the latest Ghostbusters movie. While numerous ghosts have been reported, the most common is the ghost of Ed, a janitor from the 1930s who is seen wearing a cowboy hat and bearing hairy arms. Actors report seeing him sit in his special seat, seat FF1, in the balcony. Girls have seen him in the women's restroom. One story even says that Ed sold two girls tickets to a show. Other claims include people seeing dancers on the stage and a woman in formal dress down in the dressing rooms, speculated to be the wife of former owner Dan Boyle. That's Dan there. I will be spending the day alone in the theater. No one else will be in here, no staff, no janitors, except maybe Ed, just me. in here five minutes I already hear footsteps now this is like an old building this building is turning 110 in June of this year um, but like how that how my foot just creaked I'm hearing that elsewhere like it sounds like a heel to toe like a couple of steps at a time okay so I have to set up my gear now um, so I have to get everything sorted out I'm sort of like back here by the controls That's just there. See? That sounds like footsteps. Okay, well maybe that's a natural sound. I don't know. It sounds like footsteps to me. I'm gonna get my gear set up and then we'll just jump into it. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so I'm hearing like a lot of banging. Okay, so there's like a lot of ambient noise because of the, because of the lights up here. But what I was hearing was like a banging. Sort of like a clunk, 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 clunk. Hello? 
See? It's like a tinny clanking. I can't tell if it's the wind or if you're making a noise. If that's you, can you do it again? I can kind of hear the wind, so I'm wondering if the wind is like, it's an old building, right? So like if it's moving stuff. I'm just looking under the projector. And like there's like this underneath part, I thought maybe the bang could be coming from there. It sounds like it's coming from back, like backstage. Was that you walking? Maybe it's Ed or somebody else? Yeah, like I'm not even done like setting up. Like I wanna film around with like the lights on before I turn the lights off and start investigating. Um, those were loud, those were loud noises. See what I mean? Hello? I feel like it's up here. Okay, it's coming from up. It's coming from the roof. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah, that's 100% what it is. Okay, false alarm. <laughs> we were scared for nothing. It's the wind. The wind is like clanking something up there. <sighs> Mystery solved. It's not paranormal. <laughs> keeping notes of my investigation throughout the night. If you guys want to read what I write, uh, you can go sign up for my Patreon. All my exclusive stuff like that is on my Patreon account, uh, so that's where you can read my journal entries, uh, you can see other photos that I don't post on social media, um, there's other like really good benefits there as well, so um, it's worth checking out, uh, so I just want to let you guys know. Okay, God, this is bright. I just set up a camera on the stage. Uh, you can see it, probably see the light. Um, I'm just gonna go make sure that the shot looks good. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually just sit kind of quiet and do some journaling uh, and kind of get used to the place in the dark a bit. So I'm just gonna check out the screen here. I have like a night vision light here, like a, like a full spectrum, and then I have an IR light, uh, and that's it. <sighs> that sounds, I know it's not paranormal, but it scares me when it happens. the wind too but there's it sounds like there's footsteps coming from right above so I'm gonna just pause my journaling and I'm gonna go ahead and just go up there now that big like whistling sound is the projector room so there's like a I don't know computer or something running in there okay here we are in the balcony area Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. This is Brandy at the Empress Theater on January 31st, 2022. I'm currently in the balcony. I keep hearing like footsteps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just see if I can experience them up here. A 
Okay, so the sound that we are hearing is like the whirring of something in the projector room, so we know that that's going. We know that we hear clanking coming from above the stage because of the wind. There it is. But what I've been hearing is something that sounds like footsteps. It sounds like a creaking, like heel toe walking. So I'm just gonna sit up here for a little bit and just see if I can hear it. Ed, is it is it you who's walking around up here? So I really just wanna just chat with whoever's here. Um, again, my name's Brandy. Uh, if you'd like, you can come sit with me. Like, I'm very friendly. So I would just like to ask you a few questions. If you wanna come and sit, I'll hold it out so you don't have to get super close to me if you don't want. If you know my name, can you say it back to me? And I hear you like to sit in seat FF1, which is just behind me here. Um, is that like your seat? Like, that's like your dedicated seat? You like sitting there when you watch the shows? It's so tough because there's like the air conditioning, so there, and like the projector, there's like a lot of noises going on that it's like, if I hear anything sort of outside of that, it's hard to determine if it came from like a natural source or not. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end my EVP session. <laughs> I'm really glad I was filming that. I forgot there were stairs here. I'm fine. It's alright. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the swearing. There we go. <laughs> Okay, back down into the theater we go. <laughs> I think I'm about to tell the ghost story. Um, it's like really quiet in here now. Um, so I'm just gonna like, again, I'm just gonna sit and journal. <laughs> this is probably the scariest thing that's gonna happen on this show. Um, I'm just hearing like normal, normal building sounds. Um, nothing much is happening right now, so. Again, I'm just gonna sit and relax and I'll do another EVP session in the main theater part uh, in a little bit. Okay, I'm in the main theater. And I think I'm just gonna have a seat. I think I'm gonna have a seat. Put this further away because the light drives me crazy. Okay. I'm just gonna do another EVP session. Oh. Lost the top of this, of course. I dropped this and I don't know where it went. Okay, EVP session. Brandy in the main theater. The Empress Theater on January 31st, 2022. I lost the top, uh, sort of like muffling thing on my mic. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's nice. Oh no, it's right here. I got it. It's right here. Okay. It's me again. I would really like it if someone could join me. My little like microphone thing here so this like can pick up your voice um, so you can come like talk close to it it just helps me to hear you better in case I'm not hearing you right now um, if you are trying to talk and I'm not responding I'm really sorry um, it's just because I can't hear you like if I were to hear you I, I would of course respond to you so, like we can knock to each other if you want um, I know there's like a lot of knocking sounds in here, but if we can do like one tap for yes, two taps for no, we can do something like that. If you understand, can you tap once? Just like, like that. Upon review, no anomalies were detected on my recorder for either of these EVP sessions. All right, 
I got my camera set back up here so it's plugged in so it'll basically record for as long as the SD card allows. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back in to the theater and just come sit down and just hang out and be quiet. So I'm going to turn my flashlight off and uh, just sit. There's a hall light on there so. and the camera. It's so quiet. I feel like when I got here, it was like very, um, like, I felt like I was like hearing stuff, but maybe it was just because I was adjusting to like all the noises that were happening, right? So I'm not really sure what to think now. Um, it might just be that the ghosts are like fine with me being here. You know, like Ed doesn't mind me being here and maybe he doesn't like, I don't know, like he doesn't want to like interact too much because he's very like, um, like at peace. There's something that I just like don't like about downstairs. I don't know if it's just like basements are creepier. This is the like intermission area where people can come and hang out in between acts. Um, there's a piece of paper on the wall that's flapping because the air conditioning it scared the heck out of me. Here. I'm gonna start in this room. Oh man, like the wood smell in here is like, it's like so strong. Okay. So these are the original dressing rooms since it opened. So um, the intermission place that we saw just a little while ago, um, has been around since the 80s, but these rooms have been around since the start. So I'm just gonna take a moment and sit quietly um, and just see if there's anything that I can hear. People report seeing um, like Ed in the mirrors down here. Um, the mirrors look new, like there's nothing, like if you look, um, there's like, they look like an, it's like a new mirror, you know what I mean? Um, there's no like warping, it's not old. Um, so like off the bat, I can't think of a reason why you would see a face if it wasn't there. I myself have never had like a paranormal experience before. I've never seen a ghost, heard a ghost. Um, there's only like one thing that happened when I was younger that it happened to my mom in my house. We can never really substantiate it, but um, anyway, so I've never had anything like happen. Um, I'm afraid that I did so much wishing as a child that I would never see something paranormal that I've accidentally like basically closed myself off um, so I've been trying really hard to open myself up because um, I'm not I'm not really scared of spirit um, it's of course it's like it's scary in the sense that like we don't know what it is and you don't know how it's gonna show up it's like this unpredictable nature about it but I still want to experience something I'm very open to the idea that ghosts aren't real and that it, there's like another explanation for everything that everybody experiences, whether that's like parallel dimensions or it's like something psychological. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else. Um, I'm open to it. But until then, I think this is our best guess, kind of, <laughs> and I'm on board for it. So I just, I don't know. I just want to see what we can find. And I 
hope that something can happen to me. This, this chair right here just creaked. Hello? Make sure I don't trip on anything again. I am 5'6. Five, 5'7 five, maybe. This is a small door. <laughs> okay, in we go. There's like all the writing on the wall. They've put this like plastic over everything. My guess is to keep it safe, keep the wood safe, and um, maybe make sure that people stop writing profanity on the walls. <laughs> Go ahead and get comfortable here. I'm just gonna do an EVP session. I'm just loading up my recorder. So I just wanna first ask if anyone is here with me. My name is Brandy. If you understand my name, can you say it back to me? What's your favorite part about the Empress? I sat quietly for about eight minutes and had no anomalies show up on audio or in person. gonna move this so I'm uh, now in the hallway I'm gonna do some investigating in the women's bathroom which forget the basement the women's bathroom is absolutely the most terrifying place I absolutely do not want to investigate in there but um, people have reported seeing things in there so I gotta do it it's my biggest fear okay there we go I'm just gonna turn on this camera here okay there we go getting a shot down um, into the, like, where they have intermission and stuff. Now we're gonna go in the women's bathroom, for God's sake. Okay, it's actually pretty small in here. I f hate it, I hate this. I hate this. This one's out of order. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm nervous, I'm nervous is why I'm commenting on if the toilet is out of order. I'm nervous in here, I don't care for it. Um, okay, so I don't even wanna ask. I don't even wanna ask if anything wants to show itself to me because it scares me in the bathroom. It, it's childhood, frankly, is what it is. I was scared of the bathroom as a kid because I thought Bloody Mary was gonna show up in the mirror and that trauma has stayed with me. I've traumatized myself, is what happened. I can probably handle whatever is gonna happen in here, but um, scary things tend to happen in the bathrooms, and I don't know why. I don't think it's fair, I don't think it's right, but it happens. So here I am. I'm probably being confrontational, I probably don't, just, you know, I've been friendly the whole night, now I'm agitated. I'm agitated because I'm scared. So I'm trying to be like funny about it, because I'm scared. Truck. I'm just gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down for a second. Okay, and I just want to ask, is anyone here with me? Can you knock on the wall, just like that? Can you close the door for me? Open the out of order one. Okay, I've been in here for a bit. Uh, still don't like it, but I'm more calm now. I'm gonna go, uh, and thank you. Thank you very much, I'm gonna go. That wasn't so bad, it was fine. Nothing happened, so it's fine. I think what I wanna do from here is just go back upstairs 
and hang out in the main theater for a bit. Um, maybe sit on the stage so that I can look out and just see, see if I can see anything. All right, I'm back in the theater. I'm gonna go back up to the top here. All right, I've turned even the foyer light on so it's like actually pretty dark in here. I'm just gonna get up on the stage here. So one thing that people report seeing is like when they're performing, they see somebody up. Now the one thing that I kind of think about is like, I have this light, it's like right in my face. I can't see specifically anything out there, right? Um, now obviously this is like very close to my face. I am partially blending it for me tripping in the balcony earlier. But I just imagine like if you have lights, it would be pretty easy to misconstrue a figure that might be like in the balcony. That's just one thought. Um, people report seeing like specifically Ed with the cowboy hat. I mean, we are out in farm country. Like there's like nothing but farms out here, it seems like. So I wouldn't be surprised if <laughs> there was somebody in a cowboy hat that was actually in the audience. I'm not here to discredit anybody. I'm just thinking like it would be easy if you already have the idea in your head that there is a cowboy who haunts this place to then see a cowboy in a town where like it's likely to see a cowboy so th that's just my that's my thought on it um i would like it if i could see ed uh in the cowboy outfit and everything but um yeah right now i i'm not seeing anything i've heard that there's been tap dancing that's heard here uh i did take tap dancing in high school for like two seconds um, I was terrible. I don't remember anything. Is there anybody here who knows how to tap dance and wants to maybe like show me how? I have to turn my flashlight on before I fall off the end of the stage. I wouldn't really put it past me to do that. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna sit on the end of the stage. I want to note something interesting here. In this clip, I look like a ghost. Because of the way the light is reflecting on me, I look like one solid figure and almost transparent. I bring it up only to say that if someone saw this and saw me just like walk in the corner of the screen, I wouldn't look like a person and could easily be misidentified as a spirit or a shadow figure. So I'm just wondering like, if there's anything you want to chat about or you have questions for me about anything that I've done here today? Do you want to at least come like say goodbye before I go back to Calgary? Lights and foyer. There we go. One of the things I really wanted to do with these videos is to incorporate um, food, uh, because I love food, and half the fun of going ghost hunting is that you get to travel and see new places, and half the fun of traveling and seeing new places is getting to eat the food that's there. Um, but with COVID being as bad as it is with the Omicron variant, I'm just like not willing to take that risk right now. So I, <laughs> I got my Tim Hortons for breakfast, which is like the classic sort of like road trip, Canadian road trip thing to do. Um, and then my wife kindly packed me a peanut butter and Nutella sandwich that I've just been like nibbling at like a mouse throughout this afternoon. Uh, and that's kind of it. Like I actually don't think I'm gonna go anywhere to get any food afterwards. I think um, I have a narrow window to get home without it like dumping snow on me. So I'm gonna try to make that happen. And so I'm not really gonna feature food in this one, unfortunately. Um, I will rate, however, my wife's peanut butter and Nutella sandwich uh, on white bread and say that it was very good, um, but just a titch dry and grainy from the peanut butter, which is not my wife's fault, it's uh, the peanut butter's fault. Um, I wish that I had like some jam or something a little bit more wet on this. Um, so that's it, that's my review on my peanut butter sandwich. I also had a squeezable applesauce packet um, and that was fine. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I just want to say goodbye. I'm leaving now. I gotta go home to Calgary. I really enjoyed being here, so I just want to say thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, you seem to have just kind of like kicked back and let me do what I wanted, and I appreciate that. I'm sorry, maybe we didn't get to chat more. Maybe you feel like I did a lot of chatting, um, but I didn't, wasn't able to hear from you. Uh, but I still appreciate it. Um, this is a beautiful theater. And I'll see you guys next time. While I didn't experience much by the way of paranormal at the Empress Theatre, there's still no doubt in my mind that something is haunting that building. There are too many accounts and too many years of history for it to not be holding on to something. Maybe Ed will come out and show himself next time.